Okay, Mark, thank you. It is a big week in the world of finance, and it could eventually impact your wallet. Joining us now is Ali Hashimian with Kinetic Financial. Thanks so much for being here, as always. Pleasure's all mine. Bring us the answers that we need. Um, how could these numbers affect the Federal Reserve's meeting at the end of the month to discuss inflation? Well, the employment numbers have a significant impact on the way the Fed makes decisions about inflationary policies and monetary policies, so we really pay attention to that in the financial industry. Basically, if we see good employment data, that means the Fed might tighten monetary policies and raise interest rates. Mm -hmm. uh, if the opposite happens, uh, then they might loosen monetary policy. So a uh, big indicator of what's to come and what the Fed might do. What do you think the Fed's going to do? <laughs> Are they going to raise interest rates it, again? It's a tough uh, prediction to make. I'm, they've been very vocal that they want to hit around a 2% inflation rate, and we're not there yet. So uh, it's likely that we'll see another interest rate hike, although it might not happen before the end of the year. The big thing, the big factor involved here is fuel prices. Mm -hmm. And so it really depends on how aggressive costs become at the pump. Um, so do you have any indication at when we might see some relief at the pump and with mortgage rates? Yeah, I know, especially mortgage rates. This affects a lot of people when we're seeing mortgage rates hovering around 8% right now. Uh, I don't know exactly when. I would say that people should be prepared going into 2024 for prices to continue to rise. You know, I was talking to a contractor yesterday and he said, everyone's saying the economy is terrible, but I can't get any subs to do any work because they're so busy. Mm -hmm. um, so he's, you know, he said when the economy was bad, people were begging me for work. Yeah, that's the other thing is right now employment is tough. And so we're seeing reductions in supply chains, uh, which again causes prices to continue to rise, which is tough on people. Uh, the thing I would say is try, especially at the end of the year, to look at tax efficiency because mm -hmm. anything you can save in terms of tax would make a big effect. And of course, this is the summer of strikes. We've been reporting on strikes every single day here. How does that affect the overall economy? Yeah, we call it strike season, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, uh, it makes a big impact. I mean, just here in Hollywood, uh, we saw probably a $3 billion net loss uh, to the economy. And so we saw over 37,000 jobs lost. Uh, this means that there's less money to be spent in the economy. It also means less payroll taxes collected by the state of California. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're seeing one of the largest strikes in the healthcare industry in the history of the United States with Kaiser. Yeah, so is it possible down the road, maybe it takes a while for that to catch up, but we'll feel it eventually? Oh, we'll feel it eventually, and yeah. probably sooner than you'd like. Like I said, good time for you to think about taxes uh, because the end of the year is approaching, uh, especially for people that lost their jobs. Anything they can save money in taxes, that's going to make a big impact. Yeah, every little bit makes a difference. Thank you. We my, appreciate it. My pleasure.